नमस्कार मित्रांनो माय बेस्ट गुरु चॅनल मध्ये आपले मनापासून स्वागत आम्हाला प्रोत्साहन देण्यासाठी सबस्क्राईब बटन वर क्लिक करून सबस्क्राईब करून आम्हाला मदत करा म्हणजे आम्ही तुमच्यासाठी घेऊन येऊ जास्तीत जास्त व्हिडिओ तसेच आमच्या नवीन व्हिडिओ चे नोटिफिकेशन मिळण्यासाठी घंटीच्या चित्रावर क्लिक करा Dear students, important topics in this lesson Sound waves, velocity of sound, reflection of sound, the human ear, audible sound, infrasound and ultrasound. Question number 1. Fill in the blanks and explain. A. Sound does not travel through the dash. Vacuum. Answer. Sound does not travel through vacuum. Explanation Because sound needs medium to propagate, therefore it does not travel through vacuum. B. The velocity of sound in steel is dash than the velocity of sand in water. Greater The velocity of sound in steel is greater than the velocity of sand in water. Explanation The velocity of sound depends upon nature of medium as we all know that particles of steel are more closely packed because it is solid and particles of water are loosely packed. As it is liquid, so sound will travel faster in steel. C. The incidence of dad dash in daily life shows that the velocity of sound is less than the velocity of light. Lightning is seen first and thunder sound comes later. The incident of lightning is seen first and thunder sound comes later in daily life shows that the velocity of sound is less than the velocity of light. Explanation Velocity of light is greater than the velocity of sound. D. To discover a sunken ship or objects deep inside the sea, that dash technology is used. Sonar. To discover a sunken ship or objects deep inside the sea, sonar technology is used. Explanation. In sonar technique, a transmitter and detector is used. The transmitter produces and transmits ultrasonic waves which travels through water towards the bottom of the sea. Sound is reflected from the seabed and the detector receives the waves of sound which are converted into electrical signals. Thus. Sunken ship can be detected using sonar technology. Question number 2. Explain giving scientific reasons. A. The roof of a movie theater and a conference hall is curved. Answer. The roof of a movie theater and a conference hall is curved because it avoids the reverberation of sound produced and sound can be reached in all part of the theater. It will help to hear the pitch of music distinctly. B. The intensity of reverberation is higher in closed and empty house. Answer. There are no objects in empty house and sound cannot escape out through closed door. The sound strikes and reflects on the flat and smooth walls and floor. Thus, reverberation is higher in a closed and empty house. C. We cannot hear the echo produced in classroom. Answer. To hear a distinct echo, the reflecting surface should be at a minimum distance of 17.2 meter. This condition is not satisfied in our classroom 
as distance of opposite walls is usually less than 17.2 meter and ceiling is not so high hence we cannot hear the echo produced in a classroom question number 3 answer the following questions in your own words a what is an echo what factors are important to get a distinct echo answer an echo is the repetition of the original sound because of reflection by some surface at 22 degree centigrade the velocity of sound in air is 344 meter per second our brain retains a sound for 0.1 second thus for thus we can determine the minimum distance between the source and the reflecting surface as follows distance is equal to speed multiplied by time is equal to 344 meter per second multiplied by 0.1 second is equal to 34.4 meter thus to be able to hear a distinct echo the reflecting surface should be at a minimum distance of half of the above means 17.2 meter b study b study the construction of the gol ghumat at bijapur and discuss the reasons for the multiple echoes produced there answer answer the structure and the shape of gol ghumat is such that multiple echoes arises due to the multiple reflection of sound multiple echoes of a single sound can be produced by the process of reverberation when a sound reflects multiple times from object multiple echoes can be heard what should be the dimensions c what should be the dimensions and the shape of classrooms so that no echo can be produced there answer in classrooms the distance of opposite walls should be less than 17.2 meter and ceiling should not so high hence we cannot hear the echo produced in classroom question number 4 where and why are sound absorbing materials used answer the sound absorbing materials are used in cinema halls and auditoriums to avoid production of echo question number 5 solve the following examples a the speed of sound in air at 0 degree centigrade is 332 meter per second If it increases at the rate of 0.6 meter per second per degree, what will be the temperature when the velocity has increased to 344 meter per second? Answer. Given velocity is equal to 332 meter per second, rate of increment is equal to 0.6 meter per second. Increased velocity. is equal to 344 meter per second increase temperature t is equal to what now suppose increase temperature is t therefore increased velocity by 0.6 multiplied by t is equal to 0.6 t therefore 344 is equal to 332 plus 0.6 t therefore t is equal to 344 minus 332 divided by 0.6 therefore t is equal to 12 divided by 0.6 therefore t is equal to 20 degree centigrade therefore 20 degree centigrade is the required temperature B Nita heard the sound of lightning after 4 seconds of seeing it what was the distance of the lightning 
from her the velocity of sound in air is 340 meter per second answer given v is equal to 340 meter per second t is equal to 4 seconds s means displacement or distance is equal to what now s is equal to vt this is the formula to get the distance is equal to 340 multiplied by 4 is equal to 1360 meter therefore the distance of the lightning from nita was 1360 meter c sunil is standing between two walls the wall closest to him is at a distance of 360 meter if he shouts he hears the first echo after 4 second and another after 2 seconds 1 what is the velocity of sound in air 2 what is the distance between the two walls answer given s is equal to 360 meter time required for echo to be heard is equal to 2 multiplied by time required for sounds to be reach hence t1 is equal to 4 upon 2 multiplied by s is equal to 2s t2 is equal to 6 upon 2 multiplied by s is equal to 3s 1 velocity of sound in air v is equal to s upon t is equal to 360 upon 2 is equal to 180 meter per second now second we have to find distance distance between the two walls s is equal to s1 plus s2 therefore s is equal to vt1 plus vt2 is equal to v into bracket t1 plus t2 is equal to 180 in bracket 2 plus 3 is equal to 180 multiplied by 5 is equal to 900 meter therefore the distance between the two walls is 900 meter d hydrogen gas is filled in two identical bottles A and B at the same temperature the mass of hydrogen in the two bottles is 12 g and 48 g respectively in this bottle will sound travel faster how many times as fast as the other answer given mass of hydrogen in bottle A is equal to m1 is equal to 12 g mass of hydrogen in bottle b is equal to m2 now density is in proportion with mass therefore rho 1 upon rho 2 is equal to m1 upon m2 for velocity v is inversely proportional with root rho inversely proportional with root m here t is constant therefore b1 upon b2 is equal to under root rho1 upon rho2 is equal to under root m2 upon m1 therefore v1 upon v2 is equal to under root 48 upon 12 is equal to under root 4 upon 1 is equal to 2 upon 1 therefore v1 is equal to 2 multiplied by v2 therefore sound will travel faster in bottle a and speed of bottle a will be twice as that of bottle b helium gas is filled in two identical bottles a and b the mass of the gas in the two bottles 
is 10 gram and 40 gram respectively. If the speed of sound is the same in both bottles, what conclusions will you draw? Answer Given mass of helium in bottle A is equal to M1 is equal to 10 gram, mass of helium in bottle B is equal to M2 is equal to 40 gram, speed of sound is same in both the bottles. Therefore, V1 is equal to V2 and V is directly proportional with root T upon root M. Therefore, root T1 upon root M1 is equal to root T2 upon root M2. Therefore, T1 upon M1 is equal to T2 upon M2. Therefore, T1 upon 10 is equal to T2 upon 4T. Therefore, 4T1 is equal to T2. Therefore, the temperature of B is 4 times the temperature of A. Amala Protsan Dene Sati Subscribe button work click karun, subscribe karun Amala Madad Kara. Manje Ami Tumcha Sati Gheunyo Jasti Jasta Videos. तसेच आमच्या नवीन वीडियो चे नोटिफिकेशन मिलने साथी घंटी चा चित्रावर क्लिक करा